Hi, I'm Donna from Mason Creations ETC. So glad you're here with me today. I'm going to make a shabby chic painted and distressed little farmhouse sugar bowl and creamer from a mason jar and a mini milk bottle. If you're ready, so am I. Let's get started. I'm taking just some plain rubbing alcohol and I'm going to wipe down both the jar and the little milk bottle. This removes any kind of dirt and debris or oil that could be on there from either you touching it or it being touched in the store. Wiping it down with alcohol will make the paint stick a little bit better. After I wipe it down with the alcohol, I'm gonna give this just a quick coat of white paint everywhere. I'm not going to be real fuzzy with this because it is just a base coat, but I'm not taking it all the way to the top. I don't want to cover um, the very lip of this jar because it is going to be used for milk and I want it to be washable. I'm not going to worry if I get paint on the bottom of the jar because I will clean that up later. I'm taking the paint all the way to the top on the little sugar ball. I'm putting masking tape on the top of this bottle so I can keep that lip clear and not get any kind of paint or spray on it. And after I tape that, I'm going to spray it with Rust-Oleum matte clear finish just one coat this is actually a very important step if you don't put one coat of matte in between your coats of paint they won't stick and adhere properly I'm making the lid for the little sugar bowl now I took the lid that came with the jar, but I'm not using the screw-on piece, just the inner piece. I sanded it just a little bit so that when I glue the knob on, the glue won't have a problem adhering to the metal. I'm marking it with a pencil so that once I get the glue on it, I will know exactly where to place that. I'm painting this tan now because that is the actual color that this will be when it's completed. This is my second coat of paint and I will most likely have to put another two coats on, but I won't need to spray the matte spray in between the coats any longer, just the first coat. And then when it's completely done, I'll put a coat of matte on it again. I'm now painting the little lid for the sugar bowl to match now that the glue is dried on the knob. E6000 is the only glue that I've ever found that can actually hold this little knob to the lid. I've tried several other glues including hot glue and it just pops off, it does not work. I'm getting the sunflowers prepped now. I'm taking all of the little petals and spreading them apart a little bit, and then I'm gluing a coffee stir stick onto the back of the flower so that I have a handle and am able to work on it. And then after that, I'm going to spray it with a coat of triple thick glaze. I'm going to dip each of my sunflowers now into some Mod Podge, and then take a brush and scrape off all of the excess. This, once it's dried, hardens the flower a little bit and makes it water resistant. It's not completely waterproof, but it definitely will protect these flowers since this will be used in a kitchen. I'm going to distress the jars and make them look old and antique. I am taking a sanding block 
and you can see as I go over where the imprint is on the bottle it's taking off the paint in that area and it's going to stand out really nice and then I'm going to nick it up all over the place and make it look old. I'm also cleaning up the bottom of this bottle and jar now so that I don't have paint all over it. I'm mixing some brown paint with some water to make it real runny and then I'm going to paint some stems on these for the sunflowers. After the paint dries, I'll spray it with a coat of matte finish. I'm going to add all the final embellishments. I'm removing the stir stick that I had glued on the center of that flower because I'm going to put the flowers on the jars now so I don't need it. I'm going to add a little white picket fence at the bottom and I will put a gold rhinestone in the center of each flower and then I'll top them off with a twine wrapped around it and tied in a bow. That will give it such a nice little country feel. I'm using some little silk leaves that I found at Hobby Lobby. Will you be making this cute little set for your kitchen? I would love to know. Leave me a comment below. I would love to hear all about it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and give me a like. If you really, really enjoyed it, share it with your friends. If you want to see more craft videos just like this in the future, click that subscribe button. And click the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.